everyone and welcome to my Krav Maga course. My name is Ilan Bongard and I am an expert in Krav Maga. I teach in the civilian life, in the police, in the military units. My goal is to give you a self-confidence anywhere in the world. I will teach you a long course by dividing into a few parts. From how to close my fist and how to defend basic punches up to how I control someone how I take down someone, how I defend myself against a gun, knife attack, even a stick. I wish everyone good luck and bad luck. Welcome, welcome to the striking course. In this course, I will teach you how to strike correctly and very efficiently. So let's go. So the first lesson is going to be how to go into fight stance. So I'm always going forward. I want to take my weak foot, my, it's my left, one step forward. And the reason is, if I go backward, I may trip and fall. So I go forward with my weak foot. My strong foot, it's my foundation. It's gonna keep me strong and always power to fall. So this is the foot, now the hands. Open hands, it's the street. I need to catch, grab, pull, uh, deal with knife attack, stick, uh, gun, I don't know. So open hands because it's the street, okay? Gonna be above the eyes, and my elbows will keep my ribs safe. Stomach is a muscle. You get over it if, it if you get punched. So, again, I'm going forward with my weak leg, one and two. I'm in fight stance. And if you ask me if I'll go in fight stance in the street, I will. Maybe not walking in the street in fight stance because I'm not a Mongol, but if someone push me, I will go at least with my foot to be stable, and keep my hands here or here like this. No, no, do it, come down, come down. If there is a punch, I'm ready to protect myself. So, my foundation is my fight stance. Now, let's go to the punch. I close my punch, three parts. One, two, three. Jab with a step forward and come back. Jab, jab. Jab to the stomach. I will step forward a little bit take my head to the side, out of the line. Oh, I'm doing a little lunge on my rear legs. Cross, turning my foot, turning my hips toward the opponent and going straight. Cross to the stomach, to the side, head to the side, and turning the hips and the leg. I suggest to practice everything I said at least a hundred times with different rhythm. Jab, 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 cross, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. All the time practicing. Hook, mid circle, will hit this part. This one, the real one, I turn my hips. Now I practice. Jab, cross, hook. Cross, hook, hook, cross. Jab, jab, cross, hook. Practice, practice, and practice. Uppercut, very surprising punch. The real one. You don't need to do something like that. The power comes from the legs and the hips. The lead one, very short, very surprising, is an opening for the cross. If you are a woman, I suggest to hit open hands with this part of the hands. To the nose, to the heels, to the chin, nose, chin, okay? It's more safe. Now let's go with elbow strikes. Elbow strikes is close range, okay? Almost a kiss range. So there is three or four basic type of elbow. The straight one. Always forward with the leg. The hook one, but with the elbow. Hands going to my chest, 
and go up. I'm walking forward. The uppercut one. And the turn one. Step to the side, looking where is my opponent, and strike. I will do this strike if I miss my hook. I step and I give the elbow. If the guy pull the head a little bit back, I can always extend my hand to a fist. So I miss the hook, go to the side, starting with the elbow, extending the fist. The fist. This is the hands part. Let's go to down. Now I'm going to the strike with the foot. First, the straight kick. We go up to the to the level I want to kick, and then I extend. Now I go with the lead foot, looking to the eyes, very fast. I just need him to do this, and then I go to walk. Up, one, pop, 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 one, pop, 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 pop. This lead to the strike, to the knee strike. Step forward with the lead leg. Strike to the groin. My hand here. Look from the side view. My heel go here. If I want to do a strike with the knee, with the lead knee, I will switch. Switch. And come back. The other kick. The low kick, open the door, and come back. I will strike with this part. I will hit the middle of the leg, very powerful. Second one is the middle kick, it's the same kick, but I aim for the ribs. Open the door, extend, extend. You also got the high kick. You should not kick to the, to the head in the street fight. You will uh, slip and fall, okay? You should practice it by not doing it. And the last one is the push kick. My foot, my, all my foot, I'm gonna press the chest of my opponent. Let's say he's running at you, and you will push him forward, backward, sorry. You going forward. See to the wall. Let's walk. After you learn the basics of the striking, you need to practice it thousands of times. Take your best friend, practice with them. Heavy bag, practice. Go to your Muay Thai Krav Maga schools, practice there. You need to spar a little bit. Practice the basic in front of the mirror. Everything you learn. Shadow box is one of the best and greatest tools there is. You do timer of three minutes, three times in front of a mirror, outside in the garden, and you just flow with everything you know. Jab, cross, step back, cross, knee, switch, kick, jab, cross, hook, step back, uppercut, hook, cross. Everything you know, you're gonna practice it more and more. The right technique, the right speed, accuracy, and then you're gonna learn the defense and practice with defense. Oh. Up, up. I hope you enjoyed this chapter and see you in the next one.